stocks at the foundation of any system. They are what you can see, feel, count or measure. But they do not have to be physical. In a computer program, we often represent stocks as variables, a representation of something that can change and be changed as the computer program runs. In a system model, stocks can be things such as water in reservoirs or a bathtub. It could be money, air quality, animal populations, or human populations. That can also include immaterial things, such as confidence, fear, patience, or hope, as long as they can be measured and change. This change can result in the stock increasing, decreasing, or oscillating up and down. Changes in stock over time is through the action of a flow within a system. For example, in a bathtub, we have an inflow through a faucet and an outflow through a drain. If the flow in is greater than the flow out, the stock will increase. If less, then the stock of water in the tub will decrease. In an example of a piggy bank for younger students, predictions can be made of what will occur with different inflow and outflow of coins. Graphing these and developing an understanding of their piggy bank as a simple banking system. Stock and flow can also be used to understand many systems, including those in stories such as the waterhole, with students identifying and then graphing what is occurring, and then building a stock flow model to represent and better understand what is occurring over time. Once we have identified stock and flows, we can identify the loops formed when changes in stock affect the flow in and out of the same stock. And this happens in two forms. Balancing, in which the feedback loop acts to try to keep the stock within a certain range, and as a reinforcing loop, where the stock can increase or decrease exponentially. In this example, the more the population stock increases, the greater the births, and the greater the subsequent increase in population stock, a reinforcing loop. But the death rate acts as a balancing loop. The greater the population, there is also an increase in deaths. But as this decreases the population stock, it acts to regulate the flow of deaths. But where births do not keep up with deaths, extinction can result. However, the mammoth, mammoth example is a very simple model and does not provide sufficient complexity to truly understand the systems involved. In this example, of endangered cheetahs, we introduce other elements and systems to a point where we can draw conclusions as to why certain processes may be occurring. In more familiar examples, classroom marker pens can be a simple system of stock and flow, as can professional development. Simple feedback loops can be seen in many real world problems. World population, avalanches, epidemics, Rumours, fads, interest rates, confidence, soil fertility, predator-prey simulations or systems, exercise, supply and demand, fire management, or the cruise control systems in our cars. As students explore their X problem and the data available on their problem from their environmental scan and trend analysis, they should be looking to where such data changes over time. This can usually be then modeled as stock and flow feedback or causal loops and used then to better understand the underlying forces at work in the systems they are exploring.